Hey, hey. What's happening? So I picked up some pucks and just wanted to do a quick video on sharing the pucks that I picked up. Who really watches hockey? Millions of people. Millions, millions. But I picked up some cool stuff. So uh, I'll just go through quick. So this is from uh, Niagara Ice Dogs. It's our um, OHL team, our local team. Hey, Frank. There's Lloyd. Um, got this 100 uh, year commemorative puck. A nice old Hawks puck. Hey, Dante. So it's a cool puck. Nice Hawks one. Um, my LCS, actually. Um, he bought about, um, I think about 200 of them. So I went through and picked out some. And uh, he said, take them. So we'll do a trade later for them. So, um, but I was like, yeah, absolutely. I'll take them. But uh, yeah, there was some good stuff in there. Some really old stuff. Like this is like a 92, 93 season of the senators. This is their inaugural season actually puck, which is pretty cool. Got an old Nordiques puck. Cool logo. Love that logo. The old Winnipeg Jets uh, logo. And you, you can tell they're the older ones, too, just by um, where they were made, too. Like, you can kind of see, dude, I don't know if the light's there, but there's Canada. You get into some newer ones, like, um, uh, I don't know if this is a newer one. There's a couple new ones made in Slovakia. Um, <clears throat> this is a Centennial Classic for Toronto. They're uh, their hundred year. Hey Lloyd, check out that one. Old school, old school. Vancouver Canucks. And that's uh, NHL, 75 year. Did I lose everybody? Did everybody not care about hockey? It might be you and I, Lloyd. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Yeah, that was a cool logo. This is kind of cool, too. Um, from the All-Star Game, 94-95. Picked up a couple other um, All-Star ones, too. 41st NHL All-Star Game, Pittsburgh. Old school Boston Bruins. I picked these up because these ones are actually older. Um, Trying to see if there's uh, one that's a little bit newer, but they kind of changed logos over the years. And that's the Boston. There you go, Lloyd. St. Louis. Is everything reversed? Seriously?
There we go. That's got to be better. Hey, hats. Sorry about that. I flipped my phone around and forgot to flip the image. That's better. Sorry, guys. And then picked up just a regular NHL. The NHL logo puck. The good old wings puck. <laughs> Reverse pucks. <laughs> Um, there's the 44th uh, All-Star Game in Montreal. And what else we got here? Maple Leaf Gardens. They're, uh, when they retired in 99, when they switched uh, arenas. I got a deal. <laughs> That's right. Reverse pucks. Worth more. Uh, 2000 All-Star Game in Toronto. That's kind of cool. Official game puck. Oh, that one. The Mighty Ducks. Yeah, I'm a Jays fan. Yeah, we're Jays fans here. My daughter loves the Jays. She likes her Vladdy. Got a 98 All-Star game as well, too, in Vancouver. There you go, Lloyd. See, Vancouver. <laughs> uh, what else we pick up here? 96 All-Star Game in Boston. Old school Islanders. Well, I shouldn't say really old school, but Islanders. I didn't find one, Jesse. I looked. 43rd NHL game in Philly. Yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. There's the Maple Laughs. Uh, what else we got here? 99 All-Star Game in Tampa Bay. Old school Pittsburgh Penguins puck. <laughs> Just in time to see the Flyers, eh? <laughs> That's a cool one for the 43rd 92 All-Star Game. How's it going, Funkin? Uh, what else? Do, 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 do. Chicago Stadium, 42nd All-Star Game. Chicago, 91. Yeah, the reverse air pucks. There's an old school one, Hartford Whalers. That's a cool one. Uh, oh, there you go, Funkin. There you go, old school Philly. Fuck. Ah, oh, oh, sorry to hear that, buddy. Everything's going to be good, though. Yeah, I, they can get sick, yeah. Yeah, Ken's fine if he stays healthy. Uh, 
Uh, I want to save the couple for here. All right, here we go. Oshawa Generals. If you guys know who Eric Lindros is, one of the big guys. Oh, tonsils. E. Yuck. Yeah, the puck cases are pretty cool. That's that's the main reason why I picked up some of them as well, too, because um, they came with the cases. But there, here's a Niagara Falls Thunder uh, from OHL. No longer, but uh, that's a really cool old puck. I don't even know how old this puck is, but it's old. And even older than that one. Yeah, former flyer, yeah. Niagara Falls Canucks, Junior B. They actually played, uh, they had an old stadium uh, arena, sorry, um, up the street from me. And they tore it down to build houses. This is really, really cool. It was the OHA at the time. I gotta look into this one. It's pretty, that's old. Yeah, thanks. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what? Sometimes players do better on other teams. It just, uh, it just depends on where they end up. Strathroy Blades. That's an old, old puck as well, too. Sponsored by Ray Gerhold Trucking. And then save the two best for last. The Chiefs. From the movie Slapshot. Last but not least, Hockey Night in Canada. Yeah, Suna. As long as he's uh, not getting in trouble. CBC Sports. That's our Canada theme. Hockey Night in Canada. Don Cherry. Do, 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 do. Gotta get used to where my camera is. I use my phone, so the camera's always to one side. It's never keep thinking it's always in the middle. But yeah, those are some pucks. Everybody have a, a good weekend. Good way to end it off. I did uh did the flea market find? Yeah, that's right in PA, absolutely. Ron and Don, that's right, Ron and Don. Yeah, Monday tomorrow. I got a, a little bit of a busy day. I got uh, I got to go in and uh, play arbitrator, but that's okay. It shouldn't take me too long. Get the deal done. Um, anybody interested in some upper deck tonight? Finish off the uh, two stacks that I have. Wouldn't mind cracking some stuff open. Doing the, uh, the Randy Johnson giveaway as well, too. Normality, yeah. Well, you guys, uh, well, in the States, too, school starts. See, our, our school system starts here um, first week, first full week of September. Yeah, slap shot. Got to see if you haven't seen it. Oh, thanks, Hats. Appreciate it. I subbed you earlier, I think, too, if I'm not mistaken. It breaks. You doing something tomorrow? Oh, yeah, Calvin. Yeah, actually, uh, Biggio's uh, son just had, uh, where did I put it? I just had one out. Thought I had Papa's out. I had Papa's card out earlier. Where did it go? It was right here. It's kind of cool. 
Now you see all the sons playing baseball, ones that you actually watched. Or Craig, I meant. Yeah, Craig, Craig, Craig. There you go. There's uh, Papa. Who's uh who's Conseco fan in here? Do do do. That's better. Yeah, before the juice, I know. Yeah. That was my little flea market uh, pick up there with the Rangers. So I think that what I'm going to do too for the next um, next break. I'm going to start it off with, um, after I do the upper deck here, I'm going to do some 87 Donruss. Can't wait to open it up. Yeah, the Astros. Nothing, nothing wrong with the Astros, for sure. Yeah, a lot of people were Oakland. Any, any of you guys uh, opened up this uh, last year for National Baseball Card Day? I'm gonna save it for Savannah. I just didn't know if there was uh, if they put any special like autograph autos or they're just regular base cards in these ones. Wasn't sure. That was part of the deal that I picked up at the flea. Yeah, if you guys are interested in the uh, the upper deck for tonight, uh, it'll be 15, including shipping. Yeah, um, Savannah opened up hers as well, too. And let's see if I can find it here. She pulled. She pulled. I can't remember where she put it. Hold the uh, Alonzo rookie out of that one. Your Martin Berger auto for 73 OPG Nolan Ryan. Hmm. What condition is the Ryan? The only problem I found with the early OPG stuff, um, just the cutting wasn't the best. 
Yeah, because some Martin Brodeur uh, autos are um, can be worth a little bit of money. Is the uh, is the Ryan graded? Sweet, I'll have to check it out. That's. Yeah, tell me about it. I think, uh, actually, I picked this one up. I'll show you a couple of the, the variations of the OPG stuff. I think I also have. <laughs> Now here's an example. This is 77. Nolan Ryan. See how the tops. Hey, Franks. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the uh, doing a draw for everybody that participates in the uh, 91 upper deck, doing stacks, selling the stacks. Yeah, Lloyd, see, for the OPG, see the cuts, get a lot of that in the older stuff, the old OPG, even the centering. So if that Nolan is mint, definitely be worth it. Yeah, some of them are terrible, just terrible. Forty bucks for the seventy-three, really? I don't think that's. Mm, a good deal, to be honest with you. Like, if it's in excellent, excellent condition, maybe get it probably worth graded, but I'm just checking right now, and it's like... Uh, You can get a graded seven. There was a best offer accepted like 60 bucks. A couple of them for like 20. Just depends on the condition. Yeah, tell me about it. It's, it's, I don't, well, see here in Canada, when they did the old peachy stuff, um, because of the hockey cards, uh, they used a wire cutter. So, um, as opposed to blade cutter. So, over time, the, the wire cutter um, just annihilated the cards uh, in the end runs. So that's why, like, for example, like um, even like Wayne Gretzky rookie cards, uh, you'll get a little bit of chewing and you'll know that, you know, um, kind of like the end of the, the wire, so to speak. <laughs> um, that's why they PSA, as far as as far as I know, I know in like the, in the hockey world, sometimes they'll take that in consideration, but fifty four sixty five Maris. The Maris is in excellent shape. Yeah, I would take the Maris.
I'm going to do a couple of these. My last of the one box I cracked open. 88 Fleer. Let's see if we get a, a boom card. Yeah, singles at graded prices, exactly. When that happens, you're better off with the graded, for sure. Do, do, do. Blue Jays. I'm hoping to sell out of the upper deck so I can get into the 87 Donner. So it'd be nice. But it's a Sunday night too, so I'm just kind of hanging out. Hey, Anki, are you getting any more of those um, uh, mystery packs of anything? Those are pretty cool. Some of the videos that you did there. All oh, these cards are sticking together tonight. There's a grin. You know what I found cool about these 88 cards? At their best, they actually did day, night, home, and road all their stats. It's kind of cool. Funko Pop Mystery, eh? That's awesome. If you ever uh, come across um, any doubles, um, Savannah is trying to finish her Aladdin set, and she wants to do the Toy Story 4 set. I actually um, picked this up for her the other day. The Flocked Special Edition of the Bunny. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find see if I can get her the set. They're not that hard to uh, or sorry, they're not easy to find you know, around me anyways. So that's why I gotta probably have to order it off uh, online. But that's the bunny. There we go. We got a Wade Boggs. Ooh. What do we think? PSA 10? Easy PSA 10. Corners are good. Corners are good. Centering's perfect. Here we go. PSA 10 checklist. Send it away. <laughs> What do you think in the um, the pops are worth? Sweet, yeah, I'll have to. Um, like I said, for the Toy Story Four, it's the only one she has. It's just a bunny. Um. Picked for the uh, Aladdin. That's the glow in the dark one. The genie. And she's got this Jasmine. And this is the same set, I think. Yeah, Iago. I don't know why the guy put sticker on it, but and 
So I need, I know I need the elephant, um, Prince Ali. And I saw this one, but I didn't realize it's an older one. The Abu. I didn't pay that for it. I refused to pay it, but I got a decent deal on it. And I guess these are the old, older ones. So there's the red Jafar. Trying to get the glare away. So I know in the newer set, she needs the uh, Prince Ali the Eb and uh, the Elephant Abu. Yeah, let me take out that checklist. Let me uh, sleeve it up here. Actually, I'll do one better. I'll put it in the PSA submission case. There we go. Get it ready for grading. Yeah, some pops are crazy. I'm going to, I'm seriously, I'm going to grade one. I don't know if I want to do the Phillies Pirates, but I'm going to do one for sure. Okay. Hot topic. Is that a store? Five grand. Yeah, there's some. I see some of the Batman. Isn't it usually the ones that they release at the uh, Comic Cons or whatever? Hey, Danny. Hey, Ron. We're just talking about doing the uh, checklist grading. Hey, Danny, I was at the uh, flea market today. I saw some uh, NASCAR stuff. Um, she's actually holding them for me until next week. I'm going to go take a look. Um, there was a, I just don't know NASCAR anymore. Uh, but there was some uh, um, Wallace and some older stuff. There were some autographs as well, too. She was just going to get rid of them for a song and dance, but I told her to Hang on to them. Uh, if I get them, I'll send them your way. Here go Mark Grace. Now they were just kind of sitting there. It was just, uh, if you see my um, flea market video from, from today, it's just random stuff. Sixty-five. Wow, that's crazy. Whoever thought vinyl figurines, eh? It's just crazy. Is it Joe? Actually, you know what, um, Danny? Let me check something out here because there was. Um, See if I can find it. Somebody had a like a huge, huge collection. I'm gonna check right now. Give me two seconds, guys. I just want to check something. See if they still have them. Do, 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 do. NASCAR. Yep, 
you know, in the States, I can't believe how big NASCAR is. It's crazy. Where's the big race this, uh, this week or this weekend, this weekend? Cause I think my buddy, uh, he went out there to hang out. Oh, that's okay. I was just uh, taking a look here. Somebody locally had some, uh, I don't know if you can see, but had all these NASCAR stuff, like full of tons of binders. Yeah, Bristol, that's where he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, you were. I know, getting autographs and stuff. But yeah, this person had this whole collection. I think they wanted like next to nothing for it all. I don't know. 19 binders full of NASCAR cards. Crazy. All right, we'll do a little bit of a last pack here. That finishes the box that Savannah and I kind of uh, broke open together. We end up with an Edgar. No Glavin, though. No Glavin. Dawson. <laughs> oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what? That is awesome. That is awesome. There it is. I was kind of disappointed. I was like, I got Edgar, but I didn't get a Glavin because the, the box we uh, we broke with everybody was, uh, we got both of them. But there's a Glavin. Sweet. Awesome. I got to tell Savannah now. Not now, but she's sleeping now, but that's awesome. Oh, really? Oh, Savannah. She was asking what card we were looking for. So she was trying to keep her eye out on the cards, but little right to left, but that's still nice. It's a Glavin. Twenty eight hundred cards signed in person. Holy crap. That's crazy. That's a sweet collection. There's a Reggie. So I got the Glavin out of the box. Nice. That's a lot. I'm just thinking that you've been doing it since 2010. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, um, I know, um, um, do, 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 it's Manny, I believe he does, um, he likes, uh, Al Kaline and, um, he's got his address. He's, he's got a few different people. That's cool. That's awesome, Danny. 
Yeah, Levi, that's it. Levi. Yeah, Levi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get a Nolan Ryan auto for Savannah. Put it away. An auto pen pick. Ha! Ah. Sixty bucks a card. Holy crap! That's nuts. That is insane. It's just an auto. And the thing is, too, there's so many. Like, that's the problem, too, that there's just so many of them. Wow, 75 bucks. Are you getting a Joe iPhone? Nice. I got to ha have Savannah open up her mail. Just sitting here, too, collecting, like, dust right now. That. She was given those in the break. And then all of these. Ah, she got all this. Got to open all of this. And then... Do, 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 do. Jesse, Joe sent her a monkey. She doesn't know it yet. So that came in. We're wanting her to open it so she can like, because she was like, Daddy, I want a monkey card. Yeah, Levi has a list. Dale Earnhardt, yeah. When I when I was into NASCAR when I was younger, it was Dale. Dale Earnhardt and Rusty. Good old Rusty. I remember watching that big race where he had that I don't know how many times flipped. Oh man, that was that was crazy. I watched that live and it was like that was scary. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I gotta I gotta look at some of your stuff. Time, 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 time. I where is that stack? Hey Jesse, um, where is it now? Do 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 do. You want that one? Yeah, I remember that book. The Earnhardt book. <laughs> 
It's amazing how stuff just shows up. All right, I am gonna see. Let me get my handy dandy. I don't know if it's going to go. I'm trying to see if it'll fit, Jesse. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm, I'm looking too for you. Maxim. Hey, Tessa, how's it going? She is in bed. I got to do a new label for you, Jesse. not cooperating. I'll send it out for uh, for next batch for you. Yeah, tell me about it. The little girl's spoiled. the tires <laughs> I know there you go NASCAR Gotta get this resealed. So yeah, Jesse, I'll get the I'm trying to get all these packages out tomorrow or Tuesday as well, too. You'll get yours the soonest though. I should just meet you at the border. There's yours ready to go. I'm gonna put uh, I'll put this in the little uh, my little box of PC stuff. Make sure you get that. Oh, the pucks. Um, they're just just different NHL teams. Um, just kind of give you a couple examples, Philly, Rangers. Um, Hockey is really big in Canada, of course, here. So we have what is called Hockey Night in Canada. So it's a puck there. Chiefs from the movie Slap Shot. And then I had a couple old ones, too, that I picked up. So... I'm in Niagara Falls, Ontario. So this used to be the old uh, Junior B um, hockey team. And this is old, 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 old. I'm going to try to do some research on this puck. Yeah, I did that on purpose, Inky. <laughs> Thank you. 
Six four. Wow. So Savannah is she what end of March she turned five. And we just put her on the um the ruler that we have on the wall that we measure her periodically. And she is almost um just trying to do my math here. 50 inches. She's she's over four foot tall already. Not even four, not even five and a half years old. It's crazy. Forced to learn about the movie, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my favorite hockey team, where's the puck, where's the puck, do, 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 somewhere here, there we go, Red Wings, baby, oh yeah, we bleed red in this house, none of this, because I'm from, you know, I'm in Canada and I'm close by, but none of the, um, where is it? None of this blue stuff. Hey, Isaac. Turn 19. Wow. Savannah's like turning 13. The Hurricanes couldn't afford to feed him. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ah, oh, leave snow. No, no. Are you near Toronto? See, it's kind of like the, the skies, right? Because technically, let's see if I can, without knocking the camera down. There's one of my other the background there. Ready for hockey. Bobachette. Oh my goodness, small world. Oh my, oh it is Tessa. See, I just didn't know. <laughs> Where's Craig? <laughs> He's not playing drums, is he? Yeah, Savannah will get um Sorry, it's just late night. GTA, come on. Why? I thought he would be uh, playing drums or something. So Tessa and um, Tessa's boyfriend, Craig, they are in the, uh, they operate uh, a booth at the flea market 
and they are heavily, heavily into Pokemon. They have like, is Craig actually going to Japan just for Pokemon? Hey, Jesse, there might, um, so as well too, I traded, uh, um, so Tessa, Tessa's uh, boyfriend, Craig, I traded for a card or we'll have to go through these one night. Jesse, there's probably an Finneganoff card in here somewhere here. Somewhere. Yeah, to go to the Pokemon Center. Yeah. So somebody goes to Japan just for Pokemon cards. It's crazy. Yeah, and that's just some of the cards. Uh, so Craig's brother, um, if you, I don't know if you uh, see any of the hockey channels, but uh, if you guys ever want to catch some cool stuff being opened for hockey, um, check out uh, Ziri Gaming. And I'll even post a link. Give me one second. So Craig's brother does uh, hockey. He's been doing it for, what, five or six years, maybe? He's going to get his link. Should be able to post it. So you got to check him out for hockey. Awesome guy. Yeah, we should. I'll do I'll do a live stream Pokemon. Sure, why not? Craig's got to be in here though. Yeah, Jesse, that box there, um, so I traded a card that uh, Craig and his brother um, are going to half own, which I kind of told them today. So like, I, what, like, if you guys get into a fight, what are you going to do, cut the card in half? Um, but uh, he just threw in a whole bunch of different cards and stuff for, um, for the trade, for Savannah and, and whatnot. Yeah, do it. You convince them. I'd love to do a Pokemon opening. Hey, 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 Dan. How's it going, buddy? Hey, at least you got those two hits from those boxes. So, Danny, I'm just kind of looking in chat here. You, um, you're talking about hockey for like, like relics and stuff like that. Like what kind of like inserts and whatnot. I thought you were going to bed. Yeah, tell me about it. I was, like, getting worried for it. Like, oh, no. Hey, I was opening up some packs in here, just uh, finishing up my uh, Savannah uh, daddy uh, daughter box that we opened up for the uh, 88 Fleer on our own. Last pack magic. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, pieces. Um, they usually do Jersey, Jersey, um, sticks. Um, I can actually show you, Danny. See what I have. Um, so they do like, uh, they do autos on like carbon fiber pieces as well. Like stick, uh, carbon fiber from the sticks. Um, the best are uh, their, their hockey jersey patches and autos. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, it was the last patch, last uh, pack magic. It was kind of cool. Um, and then they'll do like... Uh, See if I have. I don't think I have. They do uh, signature bucks as well, too. That one's uh, 14 of 19, and then that one's 11 of 19. This is one of my favorite pickups. Number two of 10, graded nine and a half and 10 auto, Dylan Larkin, rookie. This was um, given at the national convention. It was uh, a random auto. Oh, what's funny? Uh, really? That's cool, Ron. All right, Dan, have a good night. Yeah, hockey's got some cool stuff. Craig said, yes, sweet. We're going to do a Pokemon. We're going to do a big box of Pokemon opening. Savannah will be here. I'll let her open it. Uh, which number one pick, Ron? This year, last year? Yeah, there's the black ice. There's artifacts. Um, you still have your budget stuff, though, like OPG stuff um, for, like, uh, platinum is decent. Uh, but, yeah, hockey. But you know what, though? Some of the baseball stuff is 200 over $200 for a pack of four, four to six cards as well, too. Um, just depends on what you want to collect. Well, for the, um, so I can kind of tell you, give you an idea. Um, let's see. So if you were looking at uh, like this year's draft pick, uh, uh, what was his name? Do, 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 the sweetest guy. Um, do, 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 do. Was it the sweet Swedish guy? I can't even remember now. I know Detroit was sixth, and I don't know how they, they picked. Jack Hughes, that's who it is. I just looked it up. So Jack Hughes was number one for this year. Um, uh, actually, hold on. Round one. Yeah, Jack Hughes went first, and then um, Capo Keiko was the second pick for this year. Wow, 88, 18 Diamond King. That's cool. Yeah, Hughes, Jack, Jack Hughes, yep. So, Tessa, are you going to have Craig put the box together for Savannah to open? Jack, Jack.
Jack with a J. So are you going to crack that stuff open or what, Ron? That'd be kind of interesting. <laughs> Lloyd, back and forth. What did you miss? Uh, well, what did you miss? We're going to do some Pokemon. We're going to do a big box opening here at Urban Card Breaks for some Pokemon cards for Savannah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's going to be a good player. Absolutely. We picked up the, um, uh, I, can, I don't even know if I can pronounce his name, the German um, uh, Cider. I guess it's Cider, uh, Moritz Cider. He's a, they picked him for a def defense for Detroit. Like, he's what, uh, he's tall. I don't even know how tall he is. 6'4", there we go. He's 6'4", defenseman. And that's not on skates. So that's... Phew. But we have Steve Eiserman back too, so he's... Uh, I think they're going to make some good stuff. They get a lot of young players, Detroit. We'll see what happens this year. Yeah, no problem. I hope everything's well with the little one, Inky. Yeah, sure. Do a box break of Pokemon? Sure, why not? Nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, Jesse, I, um, sorry, just kind of a little scatterbrain a little bit, but uh, here's one stack from that big box, and there's more coming. Um, and this is what uh, kind of part of the trade for the one card. Oh, look at that. Jesse, Sydney. It's an old Pronger card. There's a Connor McDavid. Oh, that's cool. That's from the Tim Hortons. That's from the early Tim Hortons, 15, 16. Another James Neal. Petrol Rookie. Bobby Ryan, Riley Smith. Luke Robitaille. PK with a Dylan Larkin puzzle piece. That's cool. There's Mark Andre Fleury. Ah, oh, Tessa, tell Craig to tell his brother. I know in some of his videos. Um, he flicks the cards and I can tell, I can tell he flicks the cards away if they're not good. I'm just trying to zoom in here. All these damaged corners. I know that's him. <laughs> There's some Crosby's. Sweet. Yeah. We'll get her in Pokemon. Great. <laughs> Eric Stahl. Okay. Yeah. Kopitar. There we go. Inky just missed it. There's a Lindros, Philly boy. Oh, this is from the champs. Um, Kaylin Kyle, soccer player. Ooh, look at that. There's a rock bass. Yeah, Eric Stahl is a good player for sure. Eric Stahl. Wow, those are psychedelic. I should just do, I want to get view time. As some people do. <laughs> I should just play this over and over and over again. Yeah. It's, oh, that would be wicked. Hold on. Depends if uh, Craig's brother got to it or not. That's the problem. Oh, the corner. That's not bad. We should get the rock bass graded. Could you imagine? They'd look at it and be like, uh, really? That'd be so cool.
There's got to be a Finnegan off in here because there's some old stuff in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, close. Turnbull. Ooh, that's nice. New arena, Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. I don't know if I can get a better view of that. Yeah, they would do it for sure. Peter Forsberg, another Crosby, William Nylander. Oh, Jesse. Oh, that one. There's a brook trout. Oh, Bergeron. Ugh. Can't stand him. I got a Bobby Orr. There's a Crosby. PK. Is that Rainbow? It's got to be a rainbow. I don't see the rainbow, but I'm pretty sure that's a rainbow. Johnny Busick. Oh, it's a cool idea, Jesse. Let me see if I can open your package up for the 10th time. <laughs> I'll do it. Don't worry. Which one do you want? Do you want the rock bass or the, you know what we should do, Jesse? We each take one and we each sign one and then send it back. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that would be a good way to do it, uh, Danny. Which one do you want, Jesse? The trout? Okay. <laughs> the trout. I know why you picked the trout. <laughs> oh, there's a nice brodeur. Lloyd's still in here. It's not autoed, but there's a brother. Forsberg. These are from the uh, SP Authentic. They're a little bit thicker cards, too. Forsberg. Ronick. Boston. Mark Andre Fleury out of 999. Oh, that's a that's a rookie. Look at that. Athens you. Awesome kid. Awesome kid. Him, Larkin, Bertuzzi. Ah. Oh. Mantha. They got so many young players. Detroit's unbelievable. So yeah, that's a little bit of that uh, big, big, huge double stack. Curious to see these. I'll share these ones. I don't know what's here. But. Barber. Wow. Some. Oh, holy crap. Hold on. That's so fake. It's God it's so fake. Yeah, that's printings too. It's fake. Hold on. I'll be able to tell by the feel of it. Yeah, it's a fake. Because if that was real, that would be like probably an eight at least. Tessa, Craig didn't give me uh, a real Gretzky rookie, did he? 
yeah, reprint. Uh, how you can tell too is I can some of the markings um, for the Gretzky rookie are his shoulder. That's a big one. Actually, I'll bring it up so I can show you guys. Just looking for a good scan. I'll show you guys the difference. Do, do, do. So they have, um, there's a print dot from the printing. If you can see that. It's one of the markers. Now there are some, um, there are some cards that have been able to mimic it. But the other thing as well too is just the, um, Just the lining uh, as well, too. If you look at the, I'm just trying to see if you can look at that. Uh, even the printing of the name, uh, even though they were printed back then, um, like older, it's just with the new, when they do the printing now, it's very uh, digital. So when you actually zoom in there, you can kind of see where it's not as smooth on the, um, on the wording as well, too. Uh, and then sometimes down below, there was on the ice. Uh, there's some color variations as well, too, depending on the, um, they had a first and a second print run as well, too, of the cards. But nevertheless, people try to sell these all the time. Hey, look at me. I got a Gretzky rookie. What do you want to pay for it? Oh, the year on the back of the Gretzky? So is Gretzky... Uh, 7980 is this year. Sorry, I just uh, get a better picture. Sorry. Oh, well, I should check. Uh, you know what? Maybe we will. That's cool. That's a reprint. I, I'm not even, I can just buy, by looking at it, I, can, I know that's a reprint for sure. Yep. Reprint. If that was real, <laughs> that's a lot of money for a Bobby Hall rookie. That's a cool Gretzky. Marcel Dion in... Oh, that's why tops. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense now. Because this card here for Marcel in Opeachy, I believe, is red. I believe is red. I'm just trying to see if I, I thought I had that one handy. Uh, Marcel Dion is cool because if you guys know who Marcel Dion is, he actually has a, I've said it in a couple of videos before, but he's got a restaurant that we go to for breakfast. And uh, it's going to get him to autograph a few cards. Just checking to see if it's in here or not. No, that's okay. Kind of cool. Threw me off a little bit, but it is tops. That's the difference. Oh, let me see your question. Sorry. Oh, why? Why they let the players fight? Um, it's just it's a hockey thing, to be honest with you. To be on, uh, a lot of people want to take the fighting out. I love the fighting. Um, a lot of the times too. They just fight to just for fun, believe it or not. Um, they're not ticked off at each other, but there is aggression. They do do aggression fights as well, too. Like growing up with uh, Probert, uh, Bob Probert, um, great guy. Met him in real life. He was he was awesome. Um, uh, 
uh, Wendell Clark, some of the McSorley, um, uh, you know, some of these big fighters. Uh, there was some. Sometimes it gets out of hand, but if they just do their fight, they pick up. You know, at the end of the fight, they just pick up and go. It's no, no big deal. No blood. Just just some horse playing. Yeah, they have five minutes in a box or ten minute or game misconduct. <laughs> But it gets the fans going. Absolutely. And you always have the players on a team that are the grunts that don't score the goals and they just have all the penalty minutes for like scrapping and protecting the stars. <laughs> now I'm curious to see if there's more fish. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, look at that. Why don't we sign the pierogi card? We got to sign the pierogi card. <laughs> yeah, Danny, if you want... Um, if you go to YouTube and search for uh, hockey fights, you'll see some really cool one. Um, I would probably say the best one would have been um, Colorado and Detroit Red Wings. That was an all out brawl. That was like uh, the goalies were even fighting. You should take a look at if you have a chance, take a look at um, uh, take a look at that one. Just do like uh, Colorado uh, Detroit brawl. It was, yeah, the whole team. It was crazy. Like that's, that was a rivalry for quite some time, Detroit and Colorado. If you want to see some hockey fighting, <laughs> take a look at that one. Oh, Jesse, we got a large mouth. Oh, we got a crappy. <laughs> I should sign the crappy. Oh, Lloyd, I'm going to have to send you one now. Key sandal, dress in the hole. Oh, that looks so good. Philly cheesesteak. I remember going to Philly uh, for business, and they would always argue about the Philly cheesesteak. Uh, a lot of people will argue the fact being that the original Philly cheesesteak sandwich had cheese Whiz on it. And I had both, and I can tell you I really like the cheese Whiz. Tyson Berry. Oh, that's cool. Where's Lloyd? That's kind of cool. If he likes his brodeur. Wow, where's that from? Oh, 1560. Okay, so it's just uh that's kind of cool. Gotta have whiz, yeah. Yeah, I like the cheese whiz for sure. Oh, that's a cool Morgan Riley card. That's his second year, I believe. See, Tessa's watching right now for Craig. Because he wasn't sure if there was any big cards in here. But Savannah's going to go and pick out all the Detroit cards. I know that. There's some more Tim Hortons cards. There's a Crosby. <laughs> I think it's the other one, right, Jesse? Oh, sure, all the fish. Yeah, I can do that, sure. Yeah, Ron needs a fish. You know what? I think I have everybody's package here. Okay, Price. There's another Crosby. Well, I can tell you there's lots of stuff to um, 
for Savannah and for everybody's hockey PC people, for sure. All right, so let me see what fish we have here. All right, so. Jesse wants the trout. And then there's three more. So you're saying write a note just on the card for when I send them, have everybody uh, sign and then uh, send it to uh, Dan. So there's these other ones here. I'll do the black, the black crappy. Ron, which one do you want to, I'll send you one and then you can sign it and uh, send it to uh, Dan from Hard R Cards and Lloyd too. So we got, we've got one for everybody in here. Okay, so you want the rock bass or the Yeah, he wants autos for his background. Sorry. Okay, rock bass. All right, so let me let me do this. Do, 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 do. This is gonna be cool. He's gonna like he's gonna be like he's gonna swear on I'm not gonna swear, but he's gonna swear on his channel. It's like what the hell? <laughs> All right, so uh rock bass is gonna go. Lloyd, are you here? Gonna just write this down. Rock bass is going to run. The trout is going to Jesse. All right, take care, Danny. Oh, that'll be cool. Okay, so I got to sign that one. Lloyd, are you okay with the largemouth bass? No, I don't hear any thunder. Hey, hon. Is it thundering out? Oh, I can't hear. I'm in my uh, my basement. All right, so Lloyd, you're going to sign that, all right? I'm going to actually do this right now before I forget. That's going to be for Lloyd. Lloyd, me, Jesse, this would be cool. I'm just going to receive all these different fish. Oh, boy. All right, let me find. Ronald, Jesse. If I'm a little overweight on these packages, will they say anything? Like, like I mean, like, like minute. Because if I add like a, I don't know, I guess a card in a hard cover, you guys will know more being in the States. All right, Jesse's is going in. This is going to be fun. I'm actually something different. Okay. I 
I should one one touch these. <laughs> No, these are all little uh, bubble envelope packages. All right, so that is going in Jesse's. I guess I'm going to try to get these out. Like I said, thanks for being patient with me on packages. Just I've got to get across the border, and uh, i got to do it during the day, too, before the uh, post office closes, so I'd like to get some tracking as well. Kind of cool that I wait. Just your package is getting, uh, I've opened it a few times. <laughs> All right, Jesse's is done. Um, Ronald, I'll do yours here. Actually, Tessa, I'm probably going to go tomorrow. Um, and then I'm also going to be uh, go again probably Tuesday. I've got to pick up uh, – I did a, a trade. Um, I did a trade for some baseball cards. Um, I traded for a case of 88 Fleer, 20-box case, sealed, and two 88 Donruss. Uh, I think I, you overheard me talking to Craig on it. Uh, two 88 Donruss cello um, box cases as well, two 12 boxes per case. So that's coming. All right, Ron, you're, you have the rock bass. So should I put, uh, I should get Savannah to write her name on the, on the, on the crappy. I'll put my name urban and I'll have her, uh, I'll have her do the uh, her name on it. I think that'll be cool. Oh, Ron, I'm sending you the. Uh, I'm sending you this. What we're gonna do is myself, Lloyd, Jesse. Uh, you, right, I'm going to send you the rock bass, and then you're going to auto your name or however you want to put your name, and then we got to send it off to uh, Dan at Hard Art. Oh, sweet. That's cool. Game used bat and ball. That is nuts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The the card. So we we're gonna keep we're gonna sign this card. I'm gonna put my name up here, and then I'll just get Savannah to write her name across the card as well too. He wants one card from Japan for next Sunday. Really? Wow. So they have a guy that just collects the Pikachu from Pokemon. <laughs> All right, well, yours is done. Got to tape this up. Yours will be out in the mail tomorrow. Uh, what you can do, Lloyd, too, if you for shipping to the states, I don't know if you want to if you want to send it to Dan. Um, you can send it to me even if you want, or just plain white envelope it as well too. That'll work. Is it pouring, really? Oh, 
Ouch. <laughs> That's going to be cool. When are you sending it in, Ron? Nice. Yeah, you should probably go on inside if it's lightning thundering outside. And you're outside. Tell tell Craig to get off of the, the GTA. I wonder what he's gonna do when he opens that up. That's gonna be that's gonna be awesome. What is fan mail Friday? You notice how everybody now doesn't care because he's not doing cahoots anymore? Like that's crazy. Some people. I am trying to find the end of the tape. Roll. Finally found it. What a pain. Oh, he will for sure. Absolutely he will. Should we do black? Should we do black Sharpie? What do you think? Black will look good. Hey, Ron. Yeah, I picked that one up for a quarter, maybe. I don't know. I think about a quarter. So that's his first Bowman. So that's his real, is that considered his real rookie then? Wow. Put that one away for Savannah. Oh, okay. 30 to 40 bucks. Wow, for unnumbers. That's nuts. I said in a, a, I don't know if you were around when I said in the video, but I got uh, my card shop. This guy, he collects, he's got millions of baseball cards. He's putting together, um, well, it was going to be one monster box full of 80s and 90s. Um, and 2000s just stars and stuff like that rookies or whatever have you and he just he doesn't care he just gets so much of it hoards it all and just sells it off so i'm hoping to get at least one one to four i said i'd take four at the price that they told me that it would cost for a box so hopefully i get some good stuff 50 plus eh wow I should see if he's got any more of these. Wow, that's cool. 
yeah, if I find them, I'm going to just, and that's what I'm saying. Like I wrote down a couple of the ones um, that you were talking about, actually. Do, 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 do. So if I get to a couple of the shows, pick some, pick some stuff up. Um, Chavis and Alvarez, Tukey, Colby Allard. Yeah. So I'm going to look for some of those. Oh, Gavin Lux, that's another one. Oh, I hear thunder now. It's coming my way now. Wow, 15 home runs. That's crazy. Oh, I got to do Pirates Box. Good thing I saw this. I got to put a shifting label for that one. Yeah, that was loud. We heard it over here. <laughs> Tessa and uh, her boyfriend Craig live uh, uh, one city over. And it's thundering out and lightning. Yeah, got to write one of, one of one. So, Lloyd, you got that? Ron, you got that? Got to write one of one. One of one. So, I'm sending a package out to Dan. So he'll probably get the fish before. Do you want me to just put in there a note just to hold on to the fish until the others arrive? <laughs> yeah, okay. So just one on one, and then he'll just be like, what the hell are all these fish doing and arriving? Okay, that makes sense, too. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, if he, if he can win Rookie of the Year, yeah, absolutely. I'll buy 100 of them if I could find them. So what do you think I should pick? What do you think? Like, what's a good deal? If I can find them for a buck a piece, Canadian or American, that's a good deal to pick them up. Oh, I love to see the baseball cards. We'll do we'll do a video. Hey, Ron, is this considered? Oh, yeah, I guess it, this is Chrome then, right? So did they make they make a, a paper version of this as well too then? Yeah, Tess, for sure. We'll do a Pokemon video. We'll do. Um, uh, what else? Pokemon. We'll do the cards for sure. Mystery boxes. Ah, sweet.
I know what you're saying now. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Oh, you know what I can do real quick? Might as well. I got this in the mail. I'm going to open it up. Do, 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 do. Why not before bed? Ooh, looky, looky. Look at that patch card. 42 of 49. That is nice. I'm hoping he's going to be a star. Little League Hall of Fame. That's awesome. Yeah, the pull tabs. That's cool. My eBay. This one from eBay. Yeah, eBay. That's awesome. I'm just taking a quick look here. Sweet. Yeah, the uh, Savannah, I, was I think so Savannah had, um, she didn't get the card. She did soccer for the one year. I don't think she got an, uh, uh, she just did a normal photo, I think. Oh, my kitty cat. Um, if... Is Luna in? Luna was outside, but with the storm, she is now in. Hey, there you are. Hi, baby. Come on up. Come on. Did you get caught in the rain? Mm -hmm. Here, come here. Come on up. Over here. Here, come on up. Come on up. Oh, she's being frisky. I'm trying to get her to go up on the table. There we go. Go ahead, Luna. Go over here. Come on. Come on up. Yeah, she's being lazy. Oh. And she's rubbing on the phone. Go see. Go see. There is the Luna cat. She's our feral. Who is now part of the family. There you go. There you go. All right. Well, I think I'm going to head to bed. Thanks for uh, hanging out. So, uh, Jesse, Lloyd, Ron, your packages will hopefully be out tomorrow. We'll get the fish card signed and sent back to Dan.
and that'll be kind of cool. I like to see his uh, when he starts receiving the fish cards. It's going to be awesome. All right. Well, everybody, have yourselves a wonderful rest of the evening. Enjoy the work week. And uh, we'll talk soon. Night, everybody. And Luna says good night, too.